morning. morning. We celebrate the feast of the presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we will bless the candles for the next year. So if you have brought any candles, please you may bring to the front. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilled the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple, enlightened by the same Spirit they recognized with the Lord and confessed him with exaltation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ, there we shall find him, and recognize him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again revealed in glory. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for revelation to the Gentile. We humbly ask that, in answer to our people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that, treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. To take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty, that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so, by our grace, we may be presented to you with minds made pure through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I'm sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, 
or like the fuller's life. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by, The word of the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it was written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate and the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple. 
And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took them into his arms and blessed God saying, now master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel presents the head of the Holy Family, Joseph, faithfully obeying God's law given through Moses concerning the purification of the mother and the redeeming of the child by presenting Mary and the baby Jesus in the temple. It is known as the Feast of the Purification of Mary, the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord to redeem or buy the firstborn male child back from the Lord's service. The same day, we also celebrate the Feast of Candles, Candle Mass. Because, because candles are blessed then for the liturgical and personal use for the coming year. The encounter with Simeon and Anna, we see in the Gospel passage, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the old, pious, spirit-filled Simeon and the very old widow, Anna, both of whom who had been waiting for the revelation of God's salvation, were present in the temple the day Joseph and Mary brought Jesus to present him to the Father. Simeon recognized Jesus as the Lord's anointed one, and in his prayer of blessing, he prophesied that Jesus was meant to be the glory of Israel and a light of revelation to the Gentiles. While he blessed Mary, Simeon warned that her child would be set for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign of contradiction, and that a sword will pierce through your own soul. Simeon was prophesying both the universal salvation that would be proclaimed by Jesus and the necessity of suffering of the Messiah. Every holy mass in which we participate is our presentation. Of course, we might be presented by our parents at the time of the baptism to the church. But when we are grown up, when we are coming to church by our own will, our own free will, it is a presentation by ourselves. And when we brought again the small child, that is also a presentation. Again, we need to make them understand that it is their presentation. And by presenting ourselves before our Lord Jesus Christ, when we are attending the Holy Mass or whenever we are attending any other sacraments, that is, we are renewing our presentation. So we need every day to reenact our presentation. Even though we are coming to church in person or not, even spiritually, we need to do that one. So that will be fulfilling an obligation by our forefathers. Amen. Christ speaks to us through the gospel words of eternal authority. Through that authority, let us pray with confidence. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth to all people, let us pray to the Lord. 
<clears throat> that we may respond generously to the bishop's annual appeal for Catholic ministries as faithful stewards of the gifts that God has entrusted to us. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> that the hearts of our leaders may be open to God's message to repent and spread the good news of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That all life may be held precious in our country from conception until death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. And for the repose of the soul of Maxima Basmer, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Father, hear the prayers of your people. Do not look on our sinful ways, but show us your gentle mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the soul church. May the offering made with exaltation by our church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, for you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your co-eternal Son, was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore for this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. I remember, Lord, your church but throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. I remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That is the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, is blessed Joseph, her spouse, is the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Our will be done. And our task is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously. Grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the, la behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am a worthy man to see my room, but only shall you order my soul shall be.
For those of you who are at home, let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfill Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>